Hey guys, time for another youth video report. So here we go. Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great Friday. Uh, it's our, it's the beginning of the weekend. I know it seems like every day is the beginning of the weekend uh, when we're stuck at home all the time. But anyway, like I say, let's make the most of it while we have this time. Speaking of making the most of it, I uh, was reading, hope you, that you're reading uh, more scripture and studying your Bible more that we have time uh, to uh, to to read and to study and uh, and to talk to other people about these kind of things that maybe we wouldn't normally do that and maybe that's one really good thing that will come from all this that we will be more in our Bibles and we'll be, be more about those kinds of conversations um, on social media and, and, and other areas. But anyway, guys, the verse of scripture I want to read today comes from First John chapter uh, one, verses nine and ten, and it says. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Now, one of the things that we talk about in class a lot of times with our students is how can you tell if somebody is really a Christian? Well, ultimately, that's just between them and God, and we can't really fully know uh, but what are some of the signs? You know, Jesus talked about uh, during his Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 7, uh, verse 15 through 20, that you'll know them by their fruits, that a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. One of the other ways is that if, if you can sin and you don't have any desire to want to repent, that might be a signal to you that, hey, maybe I better rethink this thing. Maybe I better go back and get on my knees and pray and ask God, you know, did I truly make that decision to accept you as my Lord and Savior uh, whenever, you know, when I was baptized, when I was going through that process? Because I believe there, there are people out there that say a sinner's prayer, get baptized, but that were never really saved. And one of the reasons I say that is because I can see that if you can lie, if you can cheat, if you can steal, and you don't have any sense of remorse unless you get caught, man, that might be a signal. Because the Holy Spirit is going to, is going to speak to our hearts about those things. And we're going to have a great desire to want to repent of that sin. So when he says, if we confess our sins, uh, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, the Holy Spirit is what is what tells us, hey, we have sinned. We need, to con we need to repent of that. And if you can sin and you don't have a desire to want to repent, maybe you better you know, go back and pray and say, hey, you know, dear Lord, I am so sorry. And, and you know, work out your salvation with fear and trembling, as Paul says. Guys, listen, I can't speak for you. I can only speak for myself. But I know that when, whenever I make a bad choice, and it, and it involves sin, the Holy Spirit speaks to my heart right away, and I want to repent of that sin. And, and that's a good thing. Uh, if, you, if you don't have that, you need to go back and, uh, and go back to that day and ask yourself, did I really accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior on that day? Because if I can sin and not feel any sense of remorse, then maybe I need to go back and rethink that. Guys, I know I'm saying that over and over. Listen, I'm not trying to tell anybody they're not a Christian. I'm not trying to tell anybody that they, they're not really saved. That's between you and God, and you know that. But just ask yourself that question. If you can sin and not feel bad about it, maybe you might want to go back and then spend a little more time in prayer, a little more time in your Bible. Anyway, guys, hope that helps. Hope you have a great weekend. We will talk to you tomorrow. Until then, God bless everybody, and have a great day.